Uh, we're just going to give you a few tips on using this Pro Line hauler uh, from Pro Marine. Uh, so here we've got a box that you will receive it when you purchase one. Uh, so in the box, um, you'll have uh, Pro Line hauler uh, directions that show you how to use it. Um, also, a pamphlet on Pro Marine's products. And a little uh, right up here on thin line conning and uh, the technology behind it and uh, how it'll make your conning better. Um, so definitely have a read of this. This is very helpful. Uh, you'll also have a carry bag for your hauler. You, here's uh, an emergency crank handle. So this is for if your battery dies on your drill um, or you have problems with your drill or something when you're out there and you want to retrieve your trap. Um, the channel slides over the, the shaft and basically meant to just crank it up by hand. It takes a little longer but it does work. So then you got a spool. Uh, so the spool's got 450 feet of 450 pound uh, test line. Um, it's very, very strong sinking line. No weights required on this line. It'll sink itself. Um, it comes with 450 feet. We typically strip off a little bit. Um, not everybody prawns that deep. Uh, if you're prawning in you know, between 250 and 300 feet of water, you can steal off 100 feet or 125 feet, whatever you'd like. Um, they come this way, just some people like prawning in deeper water or do different things with it. So um, we suggest you take some off to suit your needs. So the, the spool is all aluminum, it's all powder coated, Teflon bushings, the everything's stainless steel, no, no rusting. Uh, the hauler is, is the same, um, all powder coated, uh, it's got a Scotty base on, mount on it, um, has a, a, a little guide here for your line, so when you're spooling it up you can feed your line back and forth and spool up evenly. Um, so this basically fits in any scotty mount on your boat. So just imagine this is the gun on your boat, it's mounted solid, and uh, basically you're, you're all set there and ready to go. Uh, just for, for today, we're going to use this spool that has a little bit less line in it. Uh, the spools are interchangeable. Um, you can buy extra spools, extra line. Um, we have run four or five of them in case you want to run more than one set of traps, or uh, I typically just have one trap for the line, uh, it snaps into the hauler. If uh, you want your, your line to always be running off the bottom of this spool, so it, it just helps hold, hold it in there as, as the grooves the way they're made so that it uh, holds evenly. Um, there's going to be a loop on one end. Um, if there isn't, just make sure you got a nice good knot with a, a good loop on in the end. Um, so again, if this, this thing swivels, you can point it at your, at your uh, trap as you're retrieving it or when you're letting it out. Uh, it's got a little roller on the end, just make sure your line's over the roller. So once you have your trap all baited and ready to go, basically you can fasten your, the end of your line to the trap using some form of carabiner or dog snap. Um, the trap will have a harness on it. Most traps have a harness on them and uh, should be just attach it to your trap. Then the line will, will go through this groove and over the spool. Um, then you're, you're basically ready to throw your trap in the water and, and down it goes. So as you throw it in here, it'll, it'll, be, it'll pull out your line. And as it pulls out your line, you can drive your board ahead slowly and <clears throat> just take your time. It doesn't need to go, go out fast. The trap only goes down the water so fast. Uh, take a few minutes. When you get to closer to the end of your spool, um, I always like to have what I call a safety loop on here. So when, if you look at the, the way the spool is, there's a little line left on here. And you, you want to, when you disconnect this from your spool, the line from your spool, you're you're basically holding it in your fingers, and you don't want to drop that because then you lose your line and your trap. 
So what I do is there's always something on your boat to cling to or your downrigger could be handy, you know, put it over a star nut or whatever you need to. And I always hook it to something just to, to, to give it a solid point. Then I, I go ahead and, and pull the rest of my, my line out, um, which basically just comes off. Then you end up with a, with a loop in your hand, which you can attach to a buoy. Again, carabiner is necessary. Leave them on your buoys. Hook it to your to your line. Disconnect it from your your anchor point and toss it in. Um, you, you don't leave the traps down. You don't add any weight to any of the traps. We've tried many different brands, different kinds. Very light trap doesn't move due to the thin line not dragging in the water like the, like the 516 leaded line does. Um, throw this this in the water the way it is. It will sink. The line will sink when you then uh, leave it in there however long you, you want. Um, then when you're, when you're coming back around, so we just would do a little bit of a retrieval, you know, you pull, go by with your boat, grab the, the float, again, by Pro Marine. Uh, the, the handle is very handy for, especially with little boats and stuff. So what we typically do is, is you pull it, pull it up, leave the float attached, again, find that same little loop, or a little safety loop, hook it up to the your anchor point again, and then you can disconnect your your float. You know it's not going anywhere. Take your time. So in the spool there are there's a groove. It looks like this. So you go from the inside, you run your loop through, and you loop it over the little little hook here. So it looks like this from the inside. And you basically in the hauler. So now you're ready to start pulling it up. Um, I typically put a, a few wraps on it just so that we're not putting all the force on the knot. It'll stack tighten up some of the slack. Get your cordless drill, put it on, on the end here. Slide it over the end. Tighten it up, make sure it's good and tight. At this point, you can get ready of your safety loop. Make sure you're going over the wheel and start pulling it up. Um, the, then you can you can basically take the line and slide it into your little guide. And, and as you're pulling it up, you can feed it back and forth and help the lines pull evenly onto your spool as it comes up. Try not to go too fast. If, if it's not the slack, it can go fast a little bit, but when it starts getting tight, like, take your time, run it nice and slow, and uh, the trap only wants to come up out of the water so fast. The, the netting creates a lot of drag. It, uh, anytime you try to rush things, you're gonna have more issues. Take your time, bring it up. Um, as you get to the top, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll come right up, up to the top. Reach down, grab your harness, your bridle on your trap. I basically leave mine attached. If I'm putting the, the trap back in, I pull the trap out, take my drill off, go ahead, and empty it, rebate it, um, get it ready to put back in. Your line's still attached. You're not fiddling with that anymore. You're not messing up if you didn't hook it back up. If you take it, rebate it, and just repeat the procedure. Um, so hopefully this helps out, helps everybody out with, uh, with the conning and uh, makes the conning more successful. And uh, have a good day.